What's going on guys, this is United WWE coming at you with another video today. In today's video I'm going to be talking about WrestleMania 32 and 5 things I would love to see at WrestleMania 32. So without wasting any time, let's get straight down to business. At number 5, we are going to be talking about Ronda Rousey. Now guys, of course, we saw Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 31. She got involved in the action when The Rock told her to come into the ring and sort out Triple H and Stephanie. Did we see her giving a Triple H a judo throw across the ring. That was pretty cool to see. But I would just love to see Ronda Rousey at 30, uh, WrestleMania 32. Of course, uh, there's been a lot of speculation. Dana White coming out saying that it's not going to happen. Of course, there's a lot of uh, talk that... Ronda Rousey's actually filming a movie around that time, but if the WWE can make it happen, I say they throw everything at getting that woman uh, at WrestleMania 32 because she's one of the hottest things in sports at the moment, one of the most talked about athletes of all time. She is an absolute beast inside the octagon, and I think if she was to get into the ring with someone like Stephanie, someone they don't actually have to work a match. They can, you know, they can just simply have Ronda Rousey face to face with someone, uh, some sort of promo, something in the middle of the ring at WrestleMania 32. 32 and maybe if she was on a few Raws before or something like that I think it would be absolutely sensational so that's on my list at number 5 moving along next at number four this match has been talked about for years and years and years this goes back to when the monday night wars was on i think you know you guys know what i'm talking about i'm talking about sting versus the undertaker now a lot of you will say hey listen this is these two guys are past their prime Um, you know it's not going to be a good match it's it's past it you know but guys listen i don't care what anyone says these two can put on a good match if you if you watch Seth Rollins versus Sting, you can see Sting can still go. Of course, yeah, he got that bad injury in the corner, but that like that can happen to anyone. Uh, it's one of them moves that are very risky. He hurt his neck, you know. But if he can work WrestleMania 32, and looking at the Undertaker, if he gets through Hell in a Cell versus Brock Lesnar unscathed, I think these two just have to go go at it, guys. It's it's um it's just one of them matches. You now we talk about Ali Tyson. These are two of the best in wrestling ever, and it'd be an absolute shame if they never squared up one on one at a WrestleMania or any pay per view. These two guys just while they have the chance at the end of the careers i think both of them want this match and um, it's something that just has to happen for the sake of wrestling i know as i said a lot of you will say oh, i'll be a shit match but just think of the storyline guys these can do absolute magic together on the raws building up to this pay-per-view and like it doesn't matter look at the wrestlemania 31 triple h versus sting and uh, they had like they brought all these other characters in the nwo you know all these old school uh uh, people from the uh, Monday Night Wars and the, it got one of the biggest pops of the night. The crowd went absolutely mental. It, can you imagine at WrestleMania 32 staying going face to face with The Undertaker in the middle of the ring? That arena, the Dallas Cowboy Arena, I think it's going to be in, it would absolutely erupt. And, like, it's something that has to happen. Uh, I've been a massive Undertaker and Sting fan for years. They're two of my favorites. And this match just has to go down, guys. So that's number four on my list. At number 3 in the list guys, we are going to be talking about the Hardy Boys. Now, at the moment, the Hardy Boys are in TNA. But I was just thinking, and I've been thinking about this a lot, with the Dudley Boys coming back, I think they will get in the ears of Matt and Jeff Hardy, and they'll be telling them how good things are in the tag team division. Well, they're not great, but he's he I say Bubba Ray... Um, I've seen him talking about on Twitter he would love to see Matt and Jeff Hardy back in the WWE with the Hardy boys and uh, I think if they could get in the year of Matt and Jeff you know, and tell them uh, the things they could do with the likes of the New Day and a lot of other cool tag teams coming up at the moment um, they could just build their legacies the Dudleys and the Hardy boys now this is an idea I have I would love to see it happen at Wrestlemania 32 I would love to see a ladder match with the Hardy boys involved the Dudley boys involved the New Day and throw another tag team in there i'm not sure at the moment if there's a, a tag team at the level of them guys uh, but i'm sure by the time wrestlemania comes around next year there could be a tag team in the mix so yeah guys i hope the uh, the sorry the hardy boys can get back on good terms with the wwe and hopefully they can do business and uh, stay injury free until wrestlemania comes around so yeah that's number three on my list guys so at number two on the list moving along quickly i am going to be talking about finn balor guys i would absolutely love to see 
Finn Balor on the card at WrestleMania 32. And I think you guys know where I'm going with this one. For the sole reason alone, I would love to see Finn Balor at WrestleMania 32. It's just to see what they could do with his entrance. Can you imagine the crowd just going absolutely insane as Finn Balor comes out with his demon entrance? It would be absolutely unreal, guys. I can only imagine the things they could uh, come up with in the WWE for him to like does they would go all out for this match or for this entrance i should say and i think it would be absolutely sensational be a real wrestlemania moment and of course the guy is absolutely brilliant worker so uh yeah who knows i think he could be on the main roster very very soon guys and um, I, I think uh, he's worked with nearly almost everyone on nxt i think the last one uh, probably to work with there is Samoa Joe so who knows uh, rather su uh, I'd like to see him on the main roster uh, sooner rather than later but uh, I know a lot of you would probably say you know he's doing good things in NXT but uh, yeah I want to see him just go to that next level now and um, I'm sure a lot of guys in NXT never really want to go onto the main roster because they're having such a great time in NXT but I think uh, if he went onto the main roster I think they could do great things with him guys and to see that WrestleMania entrance would just be absolutely sensational. Finally guys we are at number one now from this list you could probably say that I could come up with a lot of things that are uh, much better but for me this is my top five so make sure to leave your top five things you would like to see at WrestleMania 32 in the comment section below. But guys, time is finally here. Number one on my list. I would love to see this guy at WrestleMania 32 wrestle one more match. I think you all know who I'm talking about. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin has thrown a lot of gas on the fire of late. He's brought up a lot of rumors about him uh, wrestling one more match. Uh, he has denied them a lot. He said on Twitter that you know, it's not going to happen. But um, I, I, for some reason, I do not believe him. I don't know why it is, but I listen to his podcast all the time. But when he, when he talks about it, guys, the way he keeps bringing it up, uh, I think a lot of other people, like the likes of Shawn Michaels, uh, there's always rumors about him, but he doesn't talk about them as much. Because, like, you know, if you just talk, if you bring up the rumor, you're just throwing gas on the fire, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, he has his podcast coming up with uh, Brock Lesnar on Monday night. So it'll be interesting to see, will he... Uh, Will he go into character? Will he cut a promo on Brock Lesnar like he did on Paul Heyman a couple of months ago on the WWE Network on Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast? He went into a complete character and he just uh, he tore Brock Lesnar a new one. You know, he cut into the guy. He said that uh, he wanted him in a, a Texas death match, I think it was. But I remember saying uh, hearing Stone Cold Steve Austin saying on his podcast a few weeks after that that uh, Vince McMahon actually rang him uh, one day. And he said that uh, he wasn't happy with Stone Cold. You know, he said he wasn't happy the way uh, he conducted himself uh, going into character on the podcast. He said he just wanted uh, you know, the questions to be asked with Paul Heyman. He didn't want uh, Steve putting the idea in people's heads that he could be wrestling Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. But guys, if you see Steve Austin, you know, he's in absolutely fantastic shape. If he had uh, these couple of months now to work on his cardio, his in-ring shape, I say he he'd be ready to go because I think uh, you know he's had a lot of uh, years to heal up with his injuries and stuff like that, and I think he'd be well able to put on one more match. Uh, whether or not who it would be with, like you know, that's a question to be asked another day. But uh, yeah, that's number one on my list. I would love to see the Texas Rattlesnake in his hometown having one more match, guys. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. As I say, guys, leave your top five in the description below, in the comment section below, I should say. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.